Well, a tornado ripped through our place, unfortunately. Foggy, foggy morning. With the weather we've been having, the strawberries are ripening before our eyes. We hope to be picking uh, this weekend. If you're local, get ready. So I'm out at the field where we're going to put our new fig orchard. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that we've been working on this for about a year. We have a nice cover crop in our centers. We mow it. Then we blow that residual from that cover crop onto the row. And then we work that in, all that organic matter, and then we grow that row back up. And so uh, it's just a process. Hoping it'll grow some pretty figs. There they are. Everybody's picking. Yeah. So we got picked out yesterday, which is great. We had a ton of people here. But I'm going to show you all what the berries look like just uh, 24 hours after every single ripe strawberry being picked whenever the weather is perfect, right? 75 to 80 degrees. Now this is just the first row. So like another 24 to 36 hours and these berries are going to be ready to pick. And we really like this because we see every stage of a strawberry on the same plants. We want to see bloom to ripe all on one plant. We are deploying our chicken tractors for the broilers. New tarps, feeders, all that good stuff. Pretty good. All right, chicken tractor set up. We got one more to move over. We'll bring it over tomorrow. Hey, got Joel here. Let's gather some eggs today. It's hot. Right. <laughs> Beautiful day. Getting the ground ready for bees. Almost time to start planting. Playing plastic today. I'm headed to the watermelon field to start on that. Our first watermelon field is going to be out here at the Christmas tree farm. So I'm going to start knocking down the rows so the guys and Uncle Alfred can come behind me. And Uncle Alfred and Renee will lay the irrigation line and press the row. And then Kiko will lay the plastic. Greenhouse is in full swing. Plants are going out. New plants are being started. Everything is looking pretty good. We're doing a little evening here at the farm store with one of the local elementary schools where they have to work on their weights and measures and learning how to shop. Working on some sunflowers today. These will be used for professional photography and maybe for picking. So we're just kind of cultivating the centers to create pathways. So I haven't filmed in about a week. First weekend of strawberry festival and going into like heavy duty strawberry season. We've just been so, so busy, but I thought I'd give everybody a little update. Uh, we're gonna start in the greenhouse. So we're hardening off a bunch of tomatoes. Things looking good. A few cucumbers and squash as well. And the greenhouse is full. It's been super warm. It's about 86 degrees Fahrenheit today. So very warm for this time of year. So we've been watering like crazy. But plant sales have been good. We do our little starter plants here for $2. 
And uh, our customers seem to really appreciate that and enjoy it. Love this time of year. The strawberries look just ridiculous today. There's so much fruit out here. We had the public out to pick all day. We'll go ahead and pick all day tomorrow. And then we'll gear up for another big Saturday. So this year we're raising four different types of broilers, which are meat chickens. The Sasso, the White Ranger, the Color Yield Ranger, and the Freedom Ranger, which should be here tomorrow. After watching their behavior for just a couple hours with this peat moss, I feel like they really enjoy it more than the shavings. Lots of pecking around. I like it. Broilers are doing good. We have everybody out. Day three of the broilers. They look good. We turned the heat on last night because it got a little chilly, but everybody looks healthy. We are at a 0% mortality rate. We've lost zero birds. All right. Hadn't filmed much of the festival, but... Got a bunch of people picking strawberries and our food vendors. Everybody's having a good time. Broiler checkup. We got feathers. <laughs> Some people get excited about new trucks. We get excited about the new candy cannon. Thing's got a train horn on it. Here we go, here comes the Candy Cannon Parade. Featuring the brand new Candy Cannon. tornado ripped through our place unfortunately ripped that door down it's about two inches of water in the barn <sighs> not good <laughs> hadn't been filming much for youtube we've just been so busy at the farm for strawberry season but little moments like here at the end of the day it rained so hard the last two days. We had to shut the festival down, but we still had to get people out to pick berries. You could see where they tracked everything up, but we didn't have a choice. We had to had to do it because there's so many berries. Oh, but the my sons really want some berries. So I grabbed a bucket. <laughs> I'm gonna pick a bucket of berries myself today. The broilers have been released from their mini brooder and they are enjoying the space. We've let some of this grass grow out like y'all know we love to do. And they're enjoying it. They're pecking and grazing and foraging and digging all their little holes. <laughs> Even broilers do it. Uncle Alfred, first watermelon field of the season. First watermelon. Blackjack and orange glow. We'll come in with the pollinators in a couple of days and put them on the other side of the row. Be good. Laying plastic for the next round of watermelon. I love growing watermelon best so these are pro cut sunflowers so really nice sunflowers for flower bouquets 
things like that. So we're doing them a little different this year and raising them on the plastic. Hoping that it will really increase the quality here. What we're thinking is that as soon as we cut one, we can literally drop a seed back in there. Always try new things. Try to improve on it, make it better. Onions and potatoes looking real good. They, you could tell they really enjoyed this rain. Um, see if I can find an onion that'll show you a good example of the average size in here. Here we go. You can see those. So, get a little size on them. I like to see them start to push away at that plastic. You can see that in there. Got a little size on them. Looking good. How the strawberries look, bud? There are lots of them. Can we pick some more? Ooh, we got a few for the house. Oh. <laughs> you tripped. <laughs> you okay, bud? Yeah. Let's go pick some more.